ZQ Palacios has got an SBC in FC24 for Bundesliga Team of the Season. He's going to cost you an 89 rated squad with a Team of the Season, an 86 rated squad, and also an 88 rated squad. His card looks pretty immense. Let's put him into a team and let's review him. Are you tired of coming up against teams that are so much better than yours? Well, guys, today I might have a solution that works for you. Welcome to LootBar.gg, the cheapest, fastest, and most reliable FC24 coins you will find out there. They guarantee to get your coins to you within 30 minutes, and they also offer full refunds if you're not happy with the product. Not only that, they've got a 24-7 customer service team, which is very helpful if you're having trouble with any of your orders. But one of the greatest things about LootBar.gg is every time you buy coins, you're going to get a 5% bonus, which of course covers that pesky EA tax, but also might help you with a new evolution if you need to get that done via coins or maybe to buy a store pack because the store packs are crazy right now. And let me tell you, buying coins is a lot cheaper than buying FC points to get your crazy store packs opened. If you don't believe me, go and check the reviews down below for lootbar.gg and you'll be absolutely blown away. So if you need the cheapest, most reliable coins for FC24, make sure you go to lootbar.gg and use code VIPER to get 8% off all of your orders. Okay, so, Palacios. Four-star, four-star, of course, by Leverkusen. I think there'll be a few teams sniffing around this player in the summer. Medium-high work rates. His playstyle pluses are good bar one. He's got ping plus and long ball pass plus, which is awesome. As well as tiki Taka. He's got slide tackle plus, which is a little bit disappointing. Bruiser, anticipate, intercept and block with first touch and relentless. So not bad playstyles, really. It's just a slide tackle that I'm not the biggest fan of in the world. He can play centre mid, CDM and cam. And as we go into the in games, he's got really good shooting, actually. A lot better than I thought it was going to be. He's got good pace as well. More acceleration than sprint speed, which is what you want. Passing is outrageous. Good vision, great short pass and long pass. Curve and crossing don't really matter on this kind of player. He's got good agility and balance. You know, he is relatively small as well at 5'10". Reactions a little bit lower, 85. But good ball control, dribbling and composure. Defensively, this card looks like a, like a team of the year, can't they? 97 interceptions, 94 defensive awareness. 93 stand and 94 slide tackle. 86 jumping. It's not the best in the air. Similar to Kante. 98 stamina with relentless silver. It's got 80 strength and 98 aggression. Wow. Do you know what, guys? This card looks amazing. I actually think as well, the basics are really good shout on him. I also think like an anchor or a shadow would be quite good on him. Just because, you know, we all want pace in this game. And I am going to go for the shadow with that in mind. It is a little bit of a waste when you think about or you take a look at his defender. But it does max it all the way out. He also gets 99 acceleration and then also 93 sprint speed. But maxed out interceptions and 98 defensive awareness. Maxed out stand and maxed out slide tackle. So it's a good boost. In terms of where we're going to be playing with him. 4-3-2-1. He is going to be the middle central midfielder. I was going to say middle CDM there. He is going to be the middle... He's essentially a CDM, okay? That's where I think this card is best suited. So that's where we're going to play him. Let's get into a few games and see how good he is. Alrighty then, guys. Here we go. First game with Palacios. This is going to be quite an interesting card, in my opinion, because, you know, he's relatively cheap. But I feel like what this card offers, not a lot of other players on the game so far have offered. You know, he's good on the ball. Well, he looks to be good on the ball. He's great defensively. I, I, he does look a bit like an N'Golo Kante, in my opinion. But with, like, better, um, you know, passing stats. It's a shame they didn't give him, like, a five-star weak foot. I thought that would have been nice, you know, for this card. But still, in the, in the same respect, I really do like what this card's got for that CDM role. Now, it's going to be important to test that out. And, and because, you know, ultimately, that is a ball that I do an awful lot. And you don't really get it too often from your your CDM in this formation. I've been impressed so far, though, guys. What he's offered so far has been very nice. Um, you know, he's came forward there. Didn't really want him to. He comes short here as well, which is strange. Does he have any finesse quality? I very much doubt it. Wow. That wasn't bad, was it? That was not bad. But yeah, as I say, not many CDMs... Or say what while attacking midfielders on this game can bolster what this card bolsters. So, it certainly has got me a little bit interested in this card. Nice. There's Palacios. I would have quite like, like to um, press Proven Plus instead of Slide Tackle Plus. Because I, I personally 
don't get much use out of um, out of slide tackle plus per, per, personally, right? Some people probably do. I think if you're having to make a slide on this game, that you're probably making mistakes somewhere else anyway. So um, I don't think you really need it. There is Sane. Wow. I, I don't want Palacios coming short. I want him on the edges because I want to test his pot volleys. He is there now. Not that he's really going to score too many goals for you. But there you go. His finishing's not bad, obviously. Um, it's, it's an interesting card because th th there, are, there is an argument to be made that you could play this card as a cam. You know, he's got poor work rates for it. But there is certainly an argument to be made that this man could play cam for you. I just love that, guys. I, th I think that to initiate this kind of cross-in meta is so overpowered. We haven't really seen too much from him defensively yet, though. He hasn't actually made like any tackles. I don't know how he didn't get the ball back there, by the way, a second ago. It's nice. Okay, he feels okay left it dribbling-wise. So, good ball into Kaká there as well. We're going to go back into him. Here we go. This is our chance to pass that in. Nice. Sane. Nice. It's going to be 2-0 there. Palacios has been good, man. He seems to know how to dictate the game well. Uh, it's what I would say. And for me, there aren't many cards on this game that can do what this card is doing right here. You know, like Kai Havertz, I've been using that role. Wow. Oh, my days. But the problem with Kai Havertz is he doesn't really have the best, if any... Um, defensive play styles. Really impressive is all um, his left hip dribbling actually there. Nice. I'm just trying to feel out his kind of you know dribbling capabilities. We know his passing's good as you can see right there. His passing's been really good in this game. He doesn't feel the fastest even with the shadow on. I'll be real. I don't think he needs to feel super fast though. That's nice. He doesn't actually feel as weak as I thought he would either. He's certainly not strong, but he's certainly not even, you know, very, very weak. He's going to stay up while attacking. I don't know why he's pushing up so much, but it's a long ball pass there, and it was a header. Can you believe? Have a game with him. Can he find that? Yeah. Impressed with the passing, guys, majorly. Not too many players on this game as well, to my knowledge, really have long ball pass in the midfield at the moment. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, please. Oof. Yeah, not many players have it at the moment. Now, the last player that I can remember that was super meta that had a uh, long ball pass plus was, of course, uh, Bruno's flashback. Which I think there's an argument to be made that that card is arguably better than his um, his team of the season, which is wild for me to say, I know, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. If this guy's going to get one back, is that team of the season Kane? He is nice. Okay, let's go to some highlights. Okay, his passing is really good, guys. Like... We get this back into him here. Can he find that on his weak peg? Yeah, he can. Wow. Palacios again. Plenty of time in the middle of the park here. Picks out a really nice pass here into King Kai. I'm going to go over there with Bruno. That's nice. This card does offer a lot as that dictator, for sure. I certainly wouldn't play him any higher based on what I've seen of him so far. Uh, but as that dictator role, he's been brilliant. Here is Palacios. Lots of space for him here too. Picks it out. Not a problem in Sam Kerr. Sam Kerr is going to bang it. And there you go. 3-1. Nice Palacios. Up against Team of the Season Kane there. Does well. Good left stick dribbling as well to get out of trouble. Into Kerr. That's what I like guys I think about this card. Um, you know, he, he is only good like defensively or as like that kind of um, link up player. But for, Jesus. for me that's really nice to have that. Hey guys, my review is in on Palacios' 92 rated team of the season. I think that if you don't have the 94 Kante or you're looking for an out and out CDM, this might be one of the best options you've got on the game right now. Like, listen, I use a lot of players on this game in that kind of CDM role to save up while attacking. There are a lot of good options, right? None of these players... I, I actually hate this Declan Rice, by the way. I don't think he's good at all. Goretzka's a good option, but of course, that's premium. Absolute premium. Then you've got this Havertz, who's good there, but doesn't offer too much because he's more of an attacking um, kind of midfielder. Abelie's good, but once again, very small. And then you move on to the kind of lower players if the servers want to load, which they're just not at the moment. That's just embarrassing. You get my point though, right? The, the kind of cards that you're using at CDM probably don't compete with this Palacios. Um, a lot of people like to use Rolfo down in uh, CDM or that kind of middle 
central midfield role. Oberdorf's another great one, but once again, actually not too good. You've got Rodri, who is probably the best of the absolute bunch. And then after that, you kind of move into the players which are like, hmm, they're okay there, but they're not great. You know, Modric is another one that I think is good there, but it's quite similar to this Abelie. Small and more attacking-minded. Kante is probably one of the best, but one of the things with Kante you have to consider is the passing play styles that don't really exist. You know, he's got long ball silver, and that's it. I do think Kante has better defensive qualities, but this Palacios is a great option. As I say, he does feel like N'Golo Kante, but just offers a bit more in the kind of um, ability to go forwards. You know, his shooting's okay. I certainly wouldn't be shooting too much with him. His passing's immaculate. Dribbling wise, he feels good. Left stick dribbling. You know, you're not going to get too much out of his own dribbling because he doesn't have technical, but his dribbling feels okay. Defensively, really, really solid. He, he has that kind of um, small Kante kind of building game. So he kind of jockeys around the pitch really fast. He's quick anyway. And it means he can get the ball back very, very easily because of that. And the, the high aggression as well is awesome. He never loses stamina. He's a great card at dictating from deep. A really, really good CDM that if you don't have Rodri or some of the other premium central midfielders slash CDMs on this game, this is your next best option. And I think he's awesome. I think he's good in game. I think he's a good price. Guys, I'm going to rate this man an 8.5 out of 10. If you enjoyed today's video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the best player review. But guys, that's going to be it for me for now. So take care.